So on a social media platform called True Social, the former president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, claimed that he would be arrested on this coming Tuesday. Now this claim has been the subject of discussions by many people on CNN and on MSNBC, as well as Fox News with legal analyst Greg Jarrett, analyzing the legal implications of this claim. Now, according to Jarrett, the arrest is politically motivated by Alvin Bragg, who is the Manhattan District Attorney. Now, Jarrett argues that Bragg's legal theory is flawed and is in fact the most, in his words, cockamamie legal theory that he's ever heard of. Now, the theory involves taking a business records misdemeanor and transforming it into a felony by attaching a second, separate, uh, separate second crime to it. Now, however, the nature of the second crime is not clear. Now, it could be a campaign violation under state or even federal law. Now, Jarrett notes that it cannot be a campaign violation under state law because it was a federal election. Similarly, it cannot be a campaign violation under U.S. statutory campaign laws because Bragg is a Manhattan DA and local and state prosecutors cannot bring charges on federal crimes, only state crimes. So additionally, there are several other problems with Bragg's legal theory. For one, uh, he would have to prove that Trump was personally involved in falsifying business record. Now, secondly, he would also have to prove that Trump understood the complex and convoluted campaign laws and intended to violate them directly. Now, lastly, he would have to get around the dual purpose doctrine. Now, this states that if Trump had a personal or commercial reason for paying the money to Stormy Daniels, it is not under the law of campaign contribution, and he did not violate anything. Now, the Department of Justice and the Federal Elections Commission have both looked at this matter and found no legal basis for this claim, but Bragg's predecessor also spent years trying to find something related to the Stormy Daniels payment, but in the end walked away saying that there was just nothing. So Jarrett argues uh, on this Fox News network that it is a shame that the justice system is being used for political driven prosecutions and he believes that Bragg sees himself as a savior of the republic and he wants to do anything he can to stop Donald Trump. However, given the rampant crime in Manhattan, New Yorkers need saving from Alvin Bragg in some instances because in this event, you know, Trump is going to be arrested. He will have to have the Secret Service protection still. So Trump will be fingerprinted and then released immediately out on bail as New York City has a no cash bail justice system right now. There will be an arraignment in which the charges against him will be presented and he will have the opportunity to enter a plea. Now his legal team will challenge the merits and veracity of the charge against him and the law as described with what Jared had said earlier. Now, they will also move to dismiss the case based on the frailty of the argument. There will be uh, likely a series of legal challenges and appeals before the case goes to trial. Now, Alan Dershowitz, a legal expert, notes that Trump's problem is that he is a biased New York prosecutor and jury personnel. All right, so he's going to have this bias against him. He believes that the jury uh, could be convinced to convict you know, even a ham sandwich. Now, thus, Trump's best course of action would be the appeal. Now, the situation has both legal and political implications because Trump's ability to run and his reputation could be affected by the outcome of this case. However, given the thawed, flawed legal theory, 